Hello, I'm Apostle Robert Bryan, the pastor of Place of Healing Church located at 1590 Sunbury Road in Columbus, Ohio, the Valleydale Ballroom. I'd like to talk to you for a few minutes tonight about the difference between tradition and reverence and how both of them still apply today. Let's have some prayer and get, get started. Spirit of the living God, Lord, we thank you right now for your grace and your mercy, and we praise you and we lift you up, and we magnify your precious holy name. And Lord, we ask that today the words of my mouth represent the meditations of thine heart. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Tradition is a teaching or ritual that is handed down. The term tradition has several usages. The term is, it is often used to speak of denominations or distinct theological viewpoints, such as Baptist tradition, Pentecostal tradition, or the Reformed tradition, charismatic. They all are built out of tradition. The term is also commonly referred to, to liturgical consistency or historical practice as in a tradition of a church. Tradition is also used to speak of legend materials such as the tradition of Peter asking to be crucified upside down. From a technical standpoint, the term is used to describe two distinct groups of theological material. Biblical material prior to its being written down as scripture and writings which are not a part of the Bible but are still esteemed by the church. Scriptural Tradition is scholars use the word tradition to describe the existence of biblical material before it reached its biblical form. In other words, it was not written. It was talked out. It was passed down through speaking before the written word became what it is. The respect. Now, reverence is a different thing. Reverence is respect or honor paid to a worthy object. In scripture, it is a reverence of paid to a father or a mother, uh, to God, to the God's sanctuary, his commandments. And the failure to revere God's word has dire consequences. In this day and age, and this is what I'm really dealing with tonight, a lot of people look at things in the church and they call it tradition, and because they don't agree with the tradition or they don't think it should apply, it, it gives them a reason not to come to church or to not like what the pastor is doing. That is not what tradition is about. Tradition, for most people, yes, it is because it's something they have learned from over time. But for me, I don't do anything out of tradition. I know there are people who feel that I do, but I do it out of reverence. There are certain things to me that deserve a higher amount of respect in how we do it, a high amount of reverence. But the one thing tradition should never do, and if you ask somebody what if, they, if they're doing something and you view it as a tradition, because you don't see it in the Bible, okay, does not mean you cannot do it. But what you do see should never take away or add to, such as clothes, such as how certain things are worn in the, in, in, in the church. See, we look at a woman who comes in scantily dressed, and we might say, mm, she ain't dressing and honoring God, but how do you know what she has on is not the best thing in her, in her closet? That's a problem. We shouldn't do that. OK, reverence is what one thinks they are doing to to honor God. And God is the only one that gets to determine that tradition only dishonors God when God feels it dishonors him, not you. We should never use our feeling about somebody and what they do in tradition to be a place that tells us, hey, you know what? I ain't going there because. They do too much in tradition. That's not fair to anybody, especially you, because you don't know if you had sat there and listened, if God had a word for you that you really needed to hear. You may disqualify yourself from what God is trying to do in your life because you have in error, the spirit of error, which convinced you that this tradition should never be done and I shouldn't go to church there. That, that's not a reason not to come to church. 
Reverence should always be respecting God and his wishes. Tradition should never add or take away from the Bible. So if you see somebody asking somebody, especially their spouse, to wear something, it should not cause you a problem. Because there, that's a private conversation between the spouse and the husband. And the husband. If you see your pastor saying, I think we need to cover up the communion table with a sheet. And the reason for having done that years ago had to do with the fact that it would be hot, the windows would be down, flies could get in because they use real wine then. Flies could get into the communion and sit on the crackers and cause sickness. That bear, that's not an issue in this day and age, okay? But still people cover it up because of what they think about the reverence and the respect of what communion should mean. It's the same reason why some people feel like if they don't have on a nice dress or a man feels like he don't have on a suit and tie when he come in church, he shouldn't be there. That's between them and God, not you, them and God. That is where we run it foul when we have a problem with people and tradition. Tradition is not all bad. It doesn't mean it's all good. But you have to allow a person, their room, to worship according to how they feel God is telling them to worship. As long as it doesn't have them. I mean, you know, if they're standing in there and, and they got holes all over everything and you can see their privates and they say, well, that's just how I want to worship. No, that's not what God meant when he said worship. Okay? That's the bottom line. Tradition should never keep you out of God's house. Because tradition existed long before any of us got in God's house. That's how they passed down the word. The Bible says in Thessalonians, and I'm going to be paraphrasing, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 15, it specifically teaches us, Paul said that we should honor all tradition spoken and in epistles. Check it out. That's why we honor tradition. Not because of anything somebody said, because the Bible teaches us to honor tradition. This has been my five minutes. God bless you and good night.